everybody, this is Curtis Said. We're playing some Skyrim and I'm chronicling my adventures. So far, I'm about 30 hours in and I'm mostly focusing on the main quest. I've made my orc here. This is Bortina. I'm guessing that's, you know, the female version of Bort. Uh, guessing she's also a Latina orc. You know, this guy has some diversity here in Skyrim. And I'm here joined with my partner, Lydia. She's my house Carl. Not really sure exactly what that does, but I'm not going to bother asking her right now. So I normally wear my heavy armor, I've got my mace, and I actually use, mostly use healing abilities. So I'm kind of like a Dungeons & Dragons cleric, which is tougher than most healers. I'm going to go ahead and put on my dwarven helmet. I mean, no reason to look at my ugly mug anymore, so let's head on in and explore this dungeon. What the heck was that? Well... Ice is a pretty annoying element because not only does it do damage, but it slows you down, so... It's nice to beat up these enemies as quick as you can. I'll use my healing spell to take care of any damage I take. But for the most part, I like to use my shield to also block things. So in most situations, I'll block the first hit and then counter with my attack. Then again, with archers, they don't necessarily have to hit your shield, they can go around it. And that guy's magic spell is supposed to block magic, but does nothing against my actual weapons. So he's no problem at all. The enemies will also sometimes cast lightning, which does huge damage to your mana, but that mage was a little stupid, so I didn't have to worry about it. So let's go ahead and open this up. Into the next area. Of course, there are chests everywhere. Some of them are locked. I have some good lock picking skills, so I might be able to open this. The opening mechanics for locks is kind of the same as Fallout. Yeah, of course, it will break if you're a little bit off. So, it seems to be around here. And let's see what's inside. Oh, ruby necklace, some gold. Ah, helmet. I mean, I don't have much carrying space left, but this seems light enough that I can take it and still be able to move. This is kind of an interesting place. Strange architecture. It doesn't seem like anything else I've seen in a while. And, uh... Oh, this is great. Nice dwarven robot. <laughs> and my shield's not going to block that steam. It's good for his big, burly hands and everything, but for anything else, this is not going to protect me. And that's a little glitchy, but you can expect it in Skyrim. This is, of course, a sequel to Oblivion, so a lot of things are kind of bugged out. So yeah, some cool things on him that I can take for me. I can only hold three more pounds, so I'm going to be a little careful about what exactly I loot off him. All this heavier stuff, even though it's worth, like, say, 131 gold, I'm not going to bother taking that for now. So let's see my wounds. And uh, what's in here? Oh, great. People. Of course, you want me to leave. Just waiting for me to turn my back. So you can have all the glory for yourself. What was that? Huh? Well then. Let me be the mediator in this situation. Now, of course, I don't want to hit Lydia, since even though attacks to from, you know, the enemies aren't fatal to her, my own attacks can kill my companions. And you thought I was just a pretty face. Yeah, something like that. That is definitely not good, but I won't be saving on this, so I think I'll be fine. So yeah, Lydia is kind of dead at the moment, and there's no way to revive her as far as I know. It might be in Fallout where they just get back up, like, I don't know, was it a couple days later? But for now, let's just keep going. I 
Of course, in the loading screens, we can see all these characters and all sorts of extra info, but hopefully this won't actually be appearing. So yeah, we're down in this deep dungeon. Looks like something's off in the distance. Let's go ahead and take care of this little trap here and see if we can... Nope, not gonna make it. Get back our shield. And this is gonna be fun. Fighting a robot. Yeah. With a crossbow, apparently. And let's definitely heal. Maybe our spells will be enough. But uh that thing is moving pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah this would be a lot easier if Lydia was still alive, but unfortunately she died in that encounter. Possibly to my fault. Well, definitely my fault for hitting her that one time. But, for now, let's try and fight. Well, let's try and fight these out. They're both mobile and pretty tough, so... Hopefully this elf will distract him for us. we go, we took care of that robot. Let's switch back to our shield. In these dark areas that it's not fun to fight. So yeah, for normal enemies this is my strategy of blocking and then hitting them. <laughs> Which isn't going to work too well while I'm dying. So let's go ahead and let's do a potion if I can. Because those are instantaneous, and I don't seem to have the space to actually heal myself normally. Let's see, what do we have here? That's over 60 seconds, so that won't be fast enough for me. As you can hear, my heart is beating quite a bit, so we need an instant healing potion here. So yeah, let's drink up, and let's just kill this last enemy for now. Let's get into the light at least, it'll be easier to see him. So, I think that about wraps it up for now. I think we've shown off enough, and since my companion is dead, I just reload anyway. This wasn't the best way to end things and conclude, but it's what happens. Skyrim's full of adventure, so if you want to see more, check out our the rest of our feature. Enjoy Skyrim, everybody!